Today we're going to talk about the two ways that you're going to upload documents through Element. The first way is if your loan originator requests that you upload documents, you'll receive an email. Now notice I've gone to Gmail, sometimes you need to go into a different folder like promotions. And here I can see there's an email that says your next steps. I'm going to open that up and right here it's going to give me a link to upload documents. So I'm going to first click here to log in to my Element account. Once you've signed in to Element, it'll tell you to enter your authentication code. Let's go back to that original email. If I go back to the email, you'll see that your authentication code is going to be the last four digits of your social security number. I'm going to go ahead and put those in right here and then click send. Now if I haven't done so already, I'll e-consent right here by clicking agree. And then I'll see that this is my cue to upload, in this case, bank statements. So I'll simply click Upload Documents. And then I can either drag the documents in from a folder, or I can select the files from my computer. Here I can see, right here, my bank statements are all ready to be uploaded. I'll select them. And I can either add additional files if I need to, or if this is the only one that I'd like to upload, I will click Upload. And please note that you can upload PDF, document files, text, JPEGs, or these various other file formats at your convenience. When you're done uploading the document, select Done. Here you can see that one file has been uploaded. I can certainly click on that to confirm that that is the file that I have uploaded. And you're all done. You've uploaded the document that has been requested via the email request from your loan originator. Now let's take a look at the other way you can upload documents in Element which would be manually. So again, if you go to manage your loans, I can open up this loan that I'm working on right now by selecting complete tasks. And here I've got these task lists that we just looked at, but let's say there's other documents I wanna upload that aren't listed here that I don't have a prompt to upload. No problem, you can just click uploads to manually upload additional documents. So in this case, I can select upload and see here's my W2s that I want to have uploaded into Element. I can of course add more files if I want to or just select upload and the upload will occur. So here I can see I've successfully uploaded my W2 as well and that is the process for manually uploading documents into Element without that specific email prompt or the task list. It's as easy as that. 